It's been raining for like, and I've got to get to town to get the car registered. I guess I've got to go in the rain. It's already uh, past due, so they're probably going to charge me a penalty. That big bus just overtook me in a turn. Passed me like six kilometers ago. Every day is an adventure. I gotta get to town to get the car registered, but it's been raining so much I've just been keep putting it off, putting it off. And it's already uh, past due, so they're probably gonna charge me a penalty. Everything is so waterlogged, but I just gotta bite the bullet. Head out in the rain and get it done. Well, I don't know why mosquitoes love me, but they do. Must be my type blood, blood type. And uh, it gets so bad in the car when I get in the car. When I get in the car, they're everywhere. How they get in here, I don't know, but they're just flying everywhere. And I have to actually keep a towel with me to keep them off my ankles until I, uh, until I get to the highway here. When I get to the highway, I can open the windows and suck them all out. That big bus just overtook me in a turn in a no-passing zone, and he's laying on the horn telling people, get out of the way. Pass like crazy, and then he'll stop and pick up a passenger. Passed me like six kilometers ago. And this guy decides to just walk across the street with his vehicle. He's probably out of gas. Oh, every day is an adventure, especially when you drive. Sun's coming out. That's a good thing. I'm um, here in Kalbayag, and the purpose of this trip this morning is to get the vehicle, the car, re-registered. Uh, we've had family take care of for us while we've been gone, but it's uh, I think it's expired like just a couple days ago, right before the weekend. So I'm on my way to the LTO or the Land Transportation Office to uh, do battle. We'll see how it goes. And I'm in traffic in the middle of town, and this guy is just right on my ass, and he's honking. Like, I don't know, maybe he expects everybody to get out of the way. Well, I'm not getting out of the way. I got things to do. Still behind me and still honking. I guess his horn makes him go faster, I don't know. But this is the morning rush hour in Kalbayag City. I think one of the biggest reasons traffic's been backed up here is uh, it's Monday morning and uh, Kalbayag City Hall is just right behind us. And every, uh, I think every morning they have what they call quarters. Um, where everybody assembles, the police, the local traffic cops, the staff, the admin, all government of Cowboy Ag employees gather. Uh, in the Navy, we used to call it morning quarters, but they do it right on the national highway, and they block off traffic and divert everything through the center of town. And it just messes everything up. But that's just the way life is here. Okay, LTO, coming up. I had to park the car uh, about a block away. There was just no place to park. And then one thing I noticed is that there, all, there was a lot of tricycles and center cars and motorcycles all in this area. And I was thinking maybe I picked a bad day to get my car registered. So I decided to walk up to the LTO just to find out what the uh, how busy they were. And as it turns out, uh, there was nobody in line, so it looked like this was the day to get it done. But I still wanted to check with the LTO uh, window and 
see if uh, any of the requirements had changed or what the actual steps that I needed to take were. It had been over three years since we have been through this process, so you never know. Things can change. Uh, there could be new requirements, but in uh, any case, what I did find out that all I needed was uh, to get my insurance taken care of and uh, emissions check and uh, come back to the window and they do a safety inspection, I guess. But uh, so after I figured out what I needed to get done, it was off to find the emissions testing center. Okay, I found the testing center. I gave them all my paperwork. And I'm just waiting. Uh, so there was a car ahead of me, so I had to wait uh, according to the sign. It's a 10 minute test. Uh, so I had to wait for this guy to get down. And then uh, they backed me in, and I was given instructions to uh, run, over, run the engine at, uh, I think he said, 3,000 RPMs. funny thing, well not really a funny thing, but uh, I went to the insurance lady down there in the corner and I think I've got insurance from her in years past, uh, but she says first I got to get, before she could do my insurance, first I have to get the uh, emissions testing. So I'm, I start walking out of her office, she goes, oh no, uh, please uh, Paul, leave your paperwork here and go get your emission testing and then come back. And I'm like, well, why do you need my paperwork? I just figured out why. I come down here to this testing station, which is not even a block away. And he says, uh, oh, sir, you have to have your insurance before we can test you. But we do insurance also. <laughs> That's what she was worried about, me coming down here with my insurance policy and them writing me an insurance policy and she'd miss out. So she kept my insurance policy, which is okay. Um, She's going to give me a little discount, so she says. But uh, that's how they try to hustle you here. She she prevented the hustle by keeping my paperwork. Uh, otherwise, I'd have came down here and probably just did a one-stop shopping deal, got my insurance and my emissions testing done at one spot. And now i got to go back to her. That's okay. She's friendly. Be aware of the hustle. Emissions testing, best I could tell, is going to cost me about half of that. I think last time I had it, I was like 400 and something. So, 500, it's okay. It's still cheaper than in the US. I got my emissions done and insurance is done. Now, the LTO guy is, uh, I think he's inscribing the uh, motor serial number onto a piece of paper with a pencil. Uh, it all turned out to be a, almost a lesson in futility. Got my insurance, I mean, got my emission test, didn't get a receipt, got my insurance, went back to the LTO, and the uh, vehicle inspector, the first thing he asked me for was my uh, early warning system. I said, what do you mean early warning system? He's talking about that little triangle, the red triangle that you're supposed to carry around with you. He says, if I uh, stop you at a checkpoint, it's 5,000 pesos fine. So I immediately asked him, I said, well, how is it I've registered this car for, same car for uh, eight years without having an early warning system? He goes, I don't know, but if, you, if I catch you, it's 5,000 pesos. So he sends me to uh, one of the local hardware stores, EC Marketing. He says, they got them there. So I travel across town, the downtown area, to EC Marketing. And guess what? out of stock <laughs> so I hit like five other stores nobody had them so then I go back to the LTO I walk up to the outside window and do one of these you know don't have it things and he just points me to the cashier I went to the cashier and it was four thousand eight hundred and something for my registration I guess it was a little bit of rainy rain event going on and he didn't want to go outside and get wet so he just decided I didn't need an inspection and he decided I no longer needed the uh, early warning system which I still don't have 
but I think I'll get one just in case because he did say uh, if the checkpoints they stop you and they don't have one then it's 5,000 peso fine so next time I see an early warning system I will buy one mission accomplished and the whole process only took three hours ate up the rest of my morning now it's like going on noon and I'm hungry so I'm going home to eat although I can say that the uh, whole process wasn't all that stressful it was just a little bit stressful uh, stressful enough to maybe warrant me getting a massage later <laughs> Let's go.